Great to have you guys out here today uh, in, and at this venue. The field looks amazing to any of those who uh, you know, did some hands-on work on it. It's, it's you know, quite remarkable, the difference. So we're happy to be here uh, with uh, Westwood Softball and have a change of venue so we can celebrate you know, a nice, uh, you know, nice day, obviously, and the uh, wonderful uh, transformation of, of the Deerfield Fields. So... Uh, First off here, we're going to uh, all rise and uh, take our hats off and put them on your heart. So stand up, take your hats off, put them on your heart. And we've got the national anthem being sung by the Westwood, our own Westwood 7th and 8th graders. And you guys can come on out when I call you. Hannah Matthews, Maeve Patton, Emily Foscaldo, and Adeline Vimenta. sit back down, kids or parents. So now we're going to have uh, the chairman of the uh, selectmen come up, Mike, uh, Michael Walsh or Mike Walsh, and he's going to do the ribbon cutting. Good morning. Uh, welcome to the grand reopening of the Deerfield playing fields. And I'd like to thank you for coming out and joining the celebration. This is truly a celebration we, as we acknowledge and recognize the hard work of so many within our community who work together to bring this play area up to a condition of which we can be proud. At this time, I'd like to thank the uh, many contributors and efforts that have resulted in these beautiful playing fields being open today. First and foremost, I'd like to thank New England Development, which provided the funding to underwrite this project. The University Station development has given a significant increase to our commercial base and the generous funding made possible the fields you see today. In addition to the significant project funding, the generous support from the Westwood Youth Soccer, Westwood Youth Softball, and Westwood Youth Boys Lacrosse allowed us to lay sod on the fields that would be ready as soon as the spring snowstorms passed. 
The Department of Public Works, the Rec Department, the School Department work collaboratively to plan and oversee the project with significant input from our neighbors, our abutters, and of course all of our sports. The end result of the efforts of so many, as you can see before us today, these playing fields reflect our community's commitment to youth, sports, recreation, and show our children that we are committed to investing the time and resources that give them these high quality fields. I and the other members of the Board of Selectmen are excited to welcome you to these fields and know that they will have a positive impact on many families who come to join us on these fields. At this time, we're going to invite members to come up and cut our ribbon to open the Deerfield fields officially. And now we'd like to invite Krista Fahey of the uh, softball, girls softball, to come up and speak. that we couldn't have asked for a more beautiful day for such a special ceremony and opening day here at the field. On behalf of Westwood Youth Softball, the board of directors, our fans, players, and coaches, we'd like to thank Westwood Little League, especially Mary Ellen LaRose and Sheila Matthews for planning such a beautiful parade and for inviting us to participate in this year's festivities. Um, I wasn't sure quite what I was going to say. My mom, uh, my children like, Mom, don't be boring up there. So I promise I won't be boring. I'll be quick. Um, this week, it was a funny. I want to share a story with you that one of my sons told me from, that one of his coaches told him. So I picked him up from one of his first major league games this week, and he got in the car, and he was this big smile. He's like, Mom, you got to hear the story my coach told me. So I'm going to share with you, and don't worry, I verified these facts, so it's kind of accurate, although I probably might not have it completely as tell it as well as the people who were involved could actually tell it. But about 30 years ago in Westwood Little League, I guess they used to do playoffs in the majors, and they used to have a playoff series. And it was the A's versus the Indians. And it was game two of the series. The A's were leading in the series one game up. The other team had zero. Uh, the game was going into extra innings, and the A's had already used their two best pitchers because it was going into extra innings, the games were tied. So you had a pitcher on the mound, and a player that was playing first base for the A's, his best friend was coming up for bat on the Indians. And the pitcher pitched the ball in, and all of a sudden, smack, the batter hit what looked like an apparent home run over the right uh, home run field. So he started the runner, started running towards first base. When he saw it go over the fence, he started jumping, exciting, like, yeah, he had just won the game-winning home run. Ran all around second, third base, came home. The minute he touched home base, the whole A's field ran out of the dugout and the coach appealing that he never touched first base. Now, this is his best friend batting, who was a hitter, and he was the one playing first base. So you can see there was like kind of a lot of, huh, what's going to happen? But whatever happened, the coach appealed, the appeal was lost, the Indians did go on to win that game. I don't know what happened in the series, but those two players are still best friends today. And ironically, they still coach Westwood Little League soft uh, baseball here, and their sons are playing against each other. So I thought that was a great story to share, and that's what this is all about. Westwood Little League and Westwood Youth Softball is about having fun, making memories that will last a lifetime. So this spring, I want you to have a great season, making memories, and thank you. Thanks, Krista. Nice. That was a nice story, actually. Did did he touch first base? Did they uh, discern? I don't think he did. There's still debate. I don't uh, know what happened. It's, it's folklore at this point. Uh, before I turn it over to uh, Selectman Ahern to throw out the first pitch, uh, I'll say a few thank yous as well. First, uh, a general thank you to all who made this project possible. And anyone else that you know has a role, and there's a lot that have a continuing role, in preserving the quality and access to all outdoor spaces because you know they are a vital part of building this community 
and you know they take a lot of work and you know so as I mentioned before uh, you know there are, or as others have mentioned and I think uh, are worth repeating so if I'm redundant bear with us but there's a lot of uh, folks we should be thankful for regarding this project and then generally you know regarding both the baseball and softball leagues uh, and the town uh, so here I'm running off a few sp specific uh, thank yous to the selectman's office for all that they do, the recreation and DPW departments, uh, town administrator Mike Gillette, uh, Westwood's finest fire and police departments, uh, Dan McKenna from Bosco Crane uh, for donating the flag and the crane, uh, Duncan's for providing the all-important donuts and coffee, uh, the high school softball and baseball teams for showing up today, but also all the time they volunteer throughout the seasons. Some of you may not know this, but but the kids come around and teach the younger kids all the time. Uh, Sheila Matthews and Mary Ellen LaRose for their uh, very hard work pulling all of this together. Uh, it's a great day, and it takes a lot of work to make it a great day. Uh, to the past and current uh, board members of the Westwood Little League, they've done a lot more than, than certainly I have or others in the board uh, that are recent members because there's some long-standing folks that, are, that were a part of a lot of things that were built in Westwood Little League that make it great. To all the coaches and volunteers, because there's a lot of them and it takes time and effort. And to all the sponsors of each team, but also the general benefactors of the, of the whole program and some of the fields, uh, namely you know, Roach Brothers, McFarland's uh, and some other corporate sponsors uh, over at Westwood, I mean, at Morrison Park uh, have been integral. Uh, and finally, to the kids, because without them, we're not here. Uh, so now, Selectman Ahern, you can come on out and throw the first pitch to Wally, who I didn't thank. Thank you, Wally, for coming. Just another note on Selectman Ahern, he's retiring this year, and he's been one of the biggest supporters of Westwood Little League and other town initiatives, so uh, we thank him very much for his service and wish him the best. Uh, a couple other thank yous for the uh, uh, Stilts guys, besides the one in the Yankees union. Uh, and anybody else, Sheila? Well, I got Wally. I've never right. asked if I were in there. Uh, well, you're not. <laughs> Say, okay, they're all staying for pictures, so if you guys want to find them, uh, you can take pictures with them. Uh, so uh, I think that's it, with the exception of uh, Pete Cahill is going to come up and talk about the, uh, the contest we had for uh, the Red Sox games and, and who's going to get to go onto the field with the Red Sox. Hello, everybody. <laughs> you guys can come up. Uh, before I forget, so Brian is the president, and he thanked everybody. And uh, I also want to extend a big thank you to Brian Hunt for also spearheading the efforts here today. And with this raffle that um, I'm going to um, uh, explain. So uh, we had a very uh, last-minute opportunity short notice last minute opportunity uh, where we had access to a hundred tickets and what it allowed us to do as well as part of that is have 14 Westwood Little League players stand on the field with the Red Sox before the game during the national anthem uh, hopefully with Big Poppy and Pedroia we don't know that yet but we're hoping and so uh, we rallied the troops and we had again admittedly a very short time compressed fundraiser uh, but we've raised almost five thousand dollars to date uh, as of yesterday and um, I would like to read off the names of the top 14 fundraisers if they're here if you could come up we're gonna take a picture and where's Wally Wally's gonna come in the picture too and um, these folks will be able to go on the field and then our uh, our leading fundraiser will be able to hand the uh, 
the game uh, sheet to the umpire. So uh, if you're here, please join me up onto the stage. We have Matthew Lowney. <laughs> Dolan Walker. <laughs> Steven Zuthin. Come on up, guys. Teddy Brown. Come right up here in front of Wally. Crosby Thurmond. Giancarlo Ortega. Aiden Smith. John Power. And then Bryce Levesque, Owen Levesque, and Reed Levesque. And then these last three players each raised at least $600 or more. So Liam Field, Devin Hunt, and then our top fundraiser, Patrick Hunt. You guys can come on up. And so these funds will help overall Westwood Little League, but they also will be allow us to help uh, finish the project over at Morrison, which has been come a long way, but there's still a little bit of work to do there. So we're almost there. So guys, thank you very much. Now, uh, we still have a, a, a good number of tickets left for the game. It's May 10th. Uh, Tuesday night, we are going to reschedule any Little League games that uh, are scheduled for that night. And so I'm going to be selling the rest of the tickets on a first-come basis for $10 a piece over at the raffle table. Uh, so if anybody else wants to join, we've got, again, a block of 100 seats, so it'll, it'll be a good night. And uh, we also do have other ref refreshments and items for sale over there for anybody that would like to uh, to uh, partake. So thank you, everybody. If any parents want to come take a picture of this, but otherwise we're done. Brian, all set? All right. No, we're not done. We're not done. Thank you, everybody. High five. That's a high five. All right. This is it. Uh, so behind us here, uh, Pete just mentioned a lot of it. All important, we've got Richie's slushies. Uh, we've got a pitching station. We can run the bases. You've got face painting, Silly Willie the Clown. We've got Westwood Little League t-shirts for sale, new t-shirts. You get the raffle. And, and then after this, there's going to be a girls' softball uh, scrimmage, I think, on this field. So everybody can hang around and watch. Thank you all for coming. Wonderful day. Play ball, guys. See you later.